In the first part of today's newsletter, I'm going to take a look at the Andre Onana deal. According to Tatamurkatab's information, the goalkeeper would like to go to the Premier League and already has an agreement in principle in place with the Blues. However, a deal is not yet on the cards as Chelsea have seen their first offer for the player rejected by the Nerazzurri club. Negotiations have been put on hold until next week once the Champions League final is done with, at which point work will be done to unblock the situation. Chelsea are expected to sell Edouard Mendy after failing to agree a contract extension with the 31-year-old, who has lost his number one spot to Kepar Arizabalaga. Any bids for Kepar are likely to also be considered, but the Spaniard's big wages mean he is less likely to leave for Stamford Bridge which means Chelsea must plan for a scenario in which he could stay. Chelsea are currently negotiating the final details of Pochettino's contract to become the club's next permanent head coach. Telegraph Sport understands that an offer, in broad terms, has been made to Pochettino and that Chelsea remain optimistic that the details of the deal will be agreed with the Argentine thought, to be excited by the challenge, despite an awful run of six successive defeats. Romelu Lukaku will be asked whether or not he wants to be part of Pochettino's Chelsea revolution, but, with Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang likely to leave on a free transfer, another new striker could still arrive. While Chelsea are among the clubs interested in Napoli's Victor Osimhen and will no doubt get linked with Harry Kane, because of his relationship with Pochettino, however unlikely a move might be, they are among a clutch of clubs also monitoring Atalanta striker Rasmus Hodgland. Romeo Lavia is one of many midfield targets Chelsea are interested in ahead of the summer transfer window. Following their failed attempt to acquire Manuel Ugarte from Sporting CP and alongside the pursuit of Moises Caicedo, the Blues have opened talks with Southampton to SIG Lavia, football.london understands. The 19-year-old made 35 appearances for the Saints and impressed, despite their relegation from the Premier League. Lavia only arrived at St Mary's last summer from Manchester City and following just a few bright displays, Chelsea inquired about signing him but he ultimately remained on the south coast, and went on to score the winner against Chelsea just a few weeks later. Chelsea have opened talks with Southampton to sign Romeo Lavia this summer, football.london understands. The Blues are hoping to significantly bolster their midfield department in the upcoming transfer window with the 19-year-old scene, as a perfect addition by many at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea will have to part ways with between £40 million to £50 million to sign Southampton midfielder Romeo Lavia this summer, according to the Daily Mail. Emerson Palmieri, who Chelsea sold in 2022, has now told Declan Rice to stay at West Ham amid interest from Mauricio Pochettino. The Italy international was caught on camera after West Ham's UEFA Europa Conference League win over Fiorentina. The 28-year-old was filming himself on Instagram from the top of a bus at West Ham's trophy parade around East London. Emerson could be heard joining in with chants from the West Ham fans begging Rice to stay, as thousands serenaded the 24-year-old with cries of one more year, one more year, Declan Rice, during the celebrations. However, it may be too late for Emerson and West Ham fans to change the England international's mind. David Sullivan has already revealed that he promised Rice a move this summer with the West Ham No. 41 keen to leave after rejecting a £200,000 a week deal to stay. A story from The Sun claims that West Ham want to start the bidding for their captain at £110 million amid interest from Chelsea, Arsenal, Manchester United and also Bayern Munich. That is a huge amount of money only Philippe Coutinho, Ousmane Dembele, Antoine Griezmann, Joao Felix, Kylian Mbappe and Neymar have moved for sums greater than £110 million in football history. According to a report from Sport Witness, Real Madrid are currently preparing to offer €60 million Euros for Kai Havertz. However, Chelsea will need an additional €25 million Euros if they are to allow this move to happen. In conflicting reports from the transfer expert Fabrizio Romano, Real Madrid are not even prepared to pay the 60 million euros, let alone the additional 25 million euros. Romano claims that despite the club's best intentions to sign the Champions League final hero, they are not prepared to spend this amount of money on him. According to the latest report from The Times, Mauricio Pochettino is a huge admirer of his countryman Lautaro Martinez and wishes to persuade Todd Burley to submit a bid for him once Inter Milan complete their Champions League final against Manchester City. On Saturday night, with Chelsea striker Romelu Lukaku on loan at Inter Milan, this could soothe the blow for Inter since they would lose one striker but technically gain Lukaku. 
Chelsea are still keen on signing Dusan Vlahovic from Juventus e reports Gazeta dello Sport. With Juve likely to pursue Alvaro Morata, the irony is that Morata could end up opening the gates for Chelsea to sign a new striker. There is an expectation that Conor Gallagher will depart Chelsea this summer, football.london understands. The Blues midfielder is subject to interest from the likes of Newcastle United and West Ham amid what is expected to be a high turnover summer at Stamford Bridge. Already this summer Matteo Kovacic, N'Golo Kante, and Ruben Loftus-Cheek appear to have made ground in departing Chelsea with the latter appearing to say goodbye to supporters on the final day of the season. Kante's deal will expire at the end of the month and a move to Saudi Arabia seems likely too. In the opposite direction the Blues have started talks with relegated Southampton over Romeo Lavia, and have ambitions of signing Moises Caicedo, with the club prioritizing midfield reinforcement following the arrival of Enzo Fernandez in January. Andre Santos is also set to join up with the squad for pre-season when his loan comes to a close at the end of the month. Gallagher made 45 appearances for Chelsea in 2022-23 and added three goals, an assist in a season where the Blues struggled under multiple managers. The former Crystal Palace and West Brom Loney missed just three Premier League matches, and became a consistent presence in Chelsea's starting lineup under Frank Lampard. That came as the caretaker boss questioned his team's capacity and fitness to compete in matches, with Gallagher's work rate being evident throughout the season and relied upon by Lampard. The midfielder earned the club's Goal of Season award for his strike against Palace in the early stages of Potter's time in charge, in a rare highlight of the Blues' season. Gallagher is yet to speak with Mauricio Pochettino ahead of his arrival as Chelsea boss over any potential role in the team moving forward. Chelsea are keen to trim down their squad with issues having arisen as a result of more than 30 players recognised in the senior squad. Gallagher is yet to speak with Mauricio Pochettino ahead of his arrival as Chelsea boss over any potential role in the team moving forward. Chelsea are keen to trim down their squad with issues having arisen as a result of more than 30 players recognised in the senior squad. And that is also the last content in today's video. If you enjoy the video please leave us one like and one subscribe and don't forget to click the bell to not miss the latest content from us.